Good morning, good morning, good morning, Miss Parker's class. It's Friday for me. I don't know what day it is for you, but I hope you guys are having a very good morning, a very good day. I hope everything's going well for you. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a, a special word, okay? And I'm going to present my screen to you so you guys can see what that word is. Let me turn my screen around. Hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see. Hopefully you guys are seeing my screen now. Okay. I have a word right here that says F-O-C-U-S, focus. Okay. Maybe you guys have heard somebody say that word before, focus. Come on, focus. Okay. It just means when you're concentrating on something enough so that way you can stay on task. Okay. So you can stay uh, in one area of something and you don't lose your attention and you're able to finish what you start, okay? So I want to talk to you about focus today. And let's see. I have here the word focus, F-O-C-U-S, and it's surrounded by the word focus, but all of the other focuses aren't focused, okay? Focus means to concentrate on one thing in the middle, make it the center, and, and make sure everything around you doesn't distract your attention, doesn't take your attention away, okay? So, for example, if you're playing video games, you're focused on your video game, okay? You want to make sure that you do well on your video game. And you don't want things like um, your mom wanting to, you to help wash dishes interfere with you playing your video games, right? You're focusing on your video games. That's what the word focus means, just to pay extra special attention so that way you do as well on something as you possibly can. I have here a picture of some glasses, right? And if you look around the glasses, you see it's really blurry, right? We don't really know what's back there. And then you look through the glasses and, oh, all of a sudden we could see the hills. We could see the grass field. We could see the sky. We could see a fence, right? That's what happens for a lot of people that wear glasses. A lot of things look blurry until they focus through their glasses. Their glasses help them to focus, okay? And they're concentrating on what's the most important thing, okay? And it's right in front of them. And so they can do their best to see their best. So let's see what else I got. We're going to play a little game, okay? This is called a focus game. In this game, I'm going to read you a list of words. And I want you to clap every time you hear the word cat, okay? Remember, you're just going to clap every time I hear you hear the word cat, okay? That's the only word you clap for. Ready? Here we go. Cat. Tree. Pencil. Cat. Car. Bat. Flag. Pen. Cat. Rose. Mat. Hand. Cat. Arm. Splat. Hat. Cat. Ball, phone, cat. Was that an easy game? It would probably was, right? You guys know the word cat, and so that was probably really easy for you, okay? Let's see if we can make it a little more challenging, though, okay? Hmm. In this part of the game, I'm going to read you another list of words. This time, I want you to clap every time I say the word cat or horse, Let's see if you can pay attention for two words this time, okay? Here we go. One, cat, sat, heel, purse, horse, cat, bat, phone, box, bag, horse, flag, grass, horse, car, chair, horse, ball, cat, horse, Table, pencil, cat, can, horse, light, fan, cat. So that one might have been a little harder because you have to listen for two words this time, right? Not just one. 
But I think you guys were still probably able to do it pretty easily, right? Cat and horse, those don't sound a lot alike, right? So maybe you guys were able to pick out both words and clap every time I said either word, right? Let's see how good you guys can really focus, okay? Now, in focus game number three, I'm going to read a list of words. I want you to clap anytime you hear the name of any animal, okay? Any animal. And so what you have to do now is you have to focus on the words that I'm saying, and you have to be able to listen and figure out, is that an animal or is it a regular word? And if it's an animal, I should clap, right? So here we go. Cat, horse, table, cow, pencil, pin, table, rabbit, chair, dog, cat, phone, fan, horse, star, duck, fish, paper, soap, chair, hat, cat, horse, dog, fish, duck, chair, cat, horse. Oh, wow. You guys did really good on that one, I think, too, right? That's because there was a lot of animals in there, and you guys had to pay attention for all the names of all the animals. And then if you heard an animal name, then you had a clap. And I saw that you guys did pretty well, okay? Let's see what else I got, because you guys were focused. You were really focused, listening for the names of animals, okay? So you could do really well. I think the easiest game of those was the first one, right? When you were only listening for the word cat, because that was the only word you had to listen for, right? And then when I put in a bunch of names of different animals, it probably got a little more challenging, but you guys were, were able to do it, I think, right? So we're going to play another game, okay? And this is all just to remind you how we have to use our focus to make sure we do well, okay? Our focus is paying attention. Our focus is concentrating, okay? So I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to count to 10. I want you to look at the picture and remember as much as you can about it, and then I'll ask you a question, okay? So I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to count to 10, and then I'm going to take the picture away and ask you a question. Here we go. Look at the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here's the here's the question. What what, what color was the boy shirt? So if you remember back to the picture, right? I think you guys got it. Go ahead and say it, and then I'll show it again. The boy shirt was yellow, right? So most of you got that pretty easy, okay? Could you have gotten it if I would have only counted to two or three? Maybe, right? Let's see. Let's make this game a little more interesting, okay? Remember, we got to focus, okay? Let's see. In our part two of this game, I'm going to show you another picture. And I want you to focus on the clothes that the children are wearing, okay? So I'm giving you the hint of what I want you to concentrate on, what I want you to focus on, okay? Let's see. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's it. What color was the little girl's skirt? Hmm. There were two young boys there and a young lady, okay? The young lady was wearing a skirt. What color was it? Do you guys remember? Go ahead and shout it out, okay? Here we go, let's look again. Oh, it was brown. Look at her skirt, it's brown, okay? Oh, you guys did a good job, okay? Let's make it a little harder this time. In our part three to this game, I'm gonna show you a picture with many children, okay? I want you to focus on the picture and remember as many things as you can about it, and then I'm going to ask you a question, okay? So you're gonna focus on all the children and remember about as many things as you possibly can. Concentrate super hard and focus super sharp, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. All right. Here's the question. What were the children eating? They were eating something, right? What were they eating? Hmm. Did you get it? Let's go back and take a look. Ooh, they were eating cake, right? And I think that looks like lemonade they were drinking, right? But if you guessed cake, you were right, and you focused, and you remembered, and you concentrated on what you need to do, needed to concentrate on, right? So I want to ask you, why do you think we need to focus? Okay. I think we need to focus if we want to do good at something. We want to do very well at something, right? We have to focus. Because if we get distracted by everything that's going around, like my hands right now, right, we get to, we stop focusing on what's important, right? And that was Mr. Gomez talking, right, when my hands were flying all around, okay? So we need to focus. And that's why I ask you to know the word focus and to use our focus when things are important. What kind of things could be important to focus on, okay? Let's see. Ooh, I have a picture here of a man driving a car, but he's also on his phone. Do you think this man is focusing on driving? I don't think so, right? He's focused on his phone. And guess what? If he's focused on his phone, that means he's not being safe driver and he's not doing his best to be a safe driver, okay? So that's why it's against the law to talk on your phone while you drive. And that's why nobody should should be on their phone while they drive, okay? Hmm, so he, he's not being focused on what he should be focused on, okay? Let's see what else might be important to focus on. Ooh, this young man's putting together a puzzle, okay? Do you think that's something you need to focus on when you're doing a puzzle? Yeah, that is something you need to focus on when you're doing a puzzle, right? It's because you have to put all your concentration in to figure out where the pieces of the puzzle go. And if you're not focused, you're probably never going to be able to solve the puzzle. But he's he looks like he is really focused, right? All he's paying attention to is the puzzle. And so he'll do pretty good and get out of that. And he'll finish it. What else should somebody focus on? Ooh, I have two young ladies right here. They look like they're baking cookies, right? Look like good chocolate chip cookies. And it looks like they're focused, right? Why would you need to focus when you're baking chocolate chip cookies? One, if you don't focus, you could hurt yourself, okay? You could hurt yourself trying to bake cookies. You could burn yourself or you could cut yourself or you could hurt yourself with one of the machines. Something could fall and fall on your toes, okay? So you got to stay focused when you're baking chocolate chip cookies. And two, you want them to come out the best, right? Why bake chocolate chip cookies if they're not going to taste very good? So you need to focus on baking chocolate chip cookies, okay? Let's, what else could we focus on? Let's see. This is the one I wanted to talk to you guys about, right? This young man, he is focused. He's focused on doing his homework or his schoolwork. I think it's probably his homework because he has his socks on, so he's probably not at a school. He's probably at home relaxing, doing his homework, okay? But he's super focused, and that's great because he wants to get his education, and he wants to become very smart and intelligent, right? And so I want you guys to make sure you're super focused on finishing what you got to do in Mrs. Parker's class, when you have homework or when you're working with Miss Parker, you're focused on what you guys are doing, okay? So you can do the best job you possibly can do, all right? Focus, remember, focus. Stay concentrating uh, so that way nothing distracts you. You stay focused on what the good, important things are to do, all right? You guys, that's all I got for you today, okay? I want you guys to stay stay healthy. I want you guys to stay happy uh, and make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Okay. I will talk to you again later. I will see you later. Bye you guys.